morning everyone it is the morning of day five uh, today's a long day start work at eight so if I wanted to get it in I needed to get up early and go for a run unfortunately because Georgie rolled her ankle yesterday um, at the gym then she hasn't joined me on a run today um, so it's just been me on myself uh, just done a mile still building up steadily um, trying to keep the knee rehabilitated building it up getting it stronger so sooner rather than later hopefully I'll be able to start running further a uh, bit out of breath but trying to get trying to get my dues in I suppose before I start work trying to make those allowances around my working day um, just to show that you know you can do it where possible it doesn't have to be a big massive two hour set um, just a bit of a run first thing in the morning uh, but the good news for everyone is on the way back um, I've got the steps so I'll share that little experience with everyone see if I can film going up and coming back down so see you all soon so that's one mile down <sighs> a bit out of breath <sighs> but got to push myself got to keep going just walking to the steps now in some weird sick way my favorite part of the run There they are. Not sure how many there is. One day I might count them. At the minute, I'm too busy trying to uh, get up them. So, uh, here it goes. Top of the world, baby. There we are, steps done. Steps, hill sprints, massively important. Build stamina. Still waiting for mine to catch up. Right, let's go day. See what else there is to come. Lee went out and did his run this morning and he also did so I haven't been to the gym or anything today due to rolling my ankle in the cage yesterday. I'm going to walk down to the steps. Please come with me so that you can film me. And I'm going to take it a lot slower than Lee did this morning. But I'm going to do the steps as well. Make sure I've got some sort of exercise in today. But I'm going to be taking it a lot, lot easier with my ankle. And yeah, we're gonna go do that now.
stayed down the gauntlet and went again. So here I go. are a bit lumpy and bumpy so when your legs are like jelly finding your foot in can be a bit awkward but that's two rounds done and I'm really pleased that I actually got out and did something so that's great for today hi guys hope everyone's okay and staying safe uh, I do have this really bad habit of buying stuff to do with Muay Thai so many pairs of shorts, so many t-shirts, but you know, we've been planning this for two years and we kind of bought stuff to start off with, then put it away, then started using it, then bought other stuff and put it away, then started using it. And unfortunately it's just escalated. Um, so here is my latest order that I'm going to share with you guys. So I'm just going to cut this open. Careful. And this package today has come from Thailand from the Super Export Shop and we will put the link in the description for you so that you can find it if you want to as well. Uh, once again, like we said previously, we are not endorsed in any sort of way. Um, so literally when I we tell you... We just like them. <laughs> yeah, when I tell you that these guys are the best to deal with, um, it's not because we're getting paid for it or anything. Literally, I ordered this last Tuesday. It came on Friday. That's like four days door to door from Thailand. And they are super, super cheap. And they're just fantastic. And they send you all the photos. This is what you bought. This is what it is packaged up. It's, they're just absolutely brilliant. So Best we've found so far. Yeah. Anyway, on to what we bought. Watched a video the other day, saw a guy training in some Muay Thai shorts that were in, which were like Thai flag style colour. Thought to myself, don't own a pair of them. Yes, I do now. <laughs> With shorts, I always tend to buy a size up because, well, to be, in all fairness, it's probably better way, better to do it that way with pretty much most Thai clothing, um, I find. So these are my new booster Muay Thai flag shorts that I really can't wait well. to go and wear when we're in Thailand. These are an extra large, like I said, normally I wear a large, um, but as always, I'd recommend always going to size up. I like these a lot. I can't even steal these shorts because I have to buy a double XL. Can't get them over my hips otherwise. Winner! <laughs> Uh, this was a gift for Georgie. Um, I have one of these in a light grey colour. Um, it's not branded or anything. It's just a t-shirt with amazing... Um, Second designs. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Front and back. When you say it was a present for me, it is a present for me or is it's not a present for me? Yeah, we're working on that. We'll see how it fits me first. Um, we'll get back to you on that. Yeah, we'll see. If you see one of us in a black one and one of us in a grey one, then uh, yeah, it means she bested me in sparring. And then I just bought this cool top to train in. Just like the shield design. So it's just that dry wicking sports clothing material pretty much like the yukau one that i was training in today in my one-to-one -to -one. um like i said 
yes, this is booster. Yes, the shorts are booster, but I'm wearing a different brand of shorts right now. I was training in a Yakal top um, earlier. So, you know, it's like I said, we're not endorsed in any sort of way. These are just like, we've seen them. They're cool. We wanted to buy them. We did. We wear them for training. It's that simple. So that is our latest buy. Wraps today. Mine were from Twins. Where were yours from today? Uh, my wraps were Punisher Hayabusa wraps. Oh, so. I got you those for your birthday. Yes, you did. I did. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, we're not endorsed in any way, shape or form. This is just personal preference, things that we've seen, that we like, that we've chosen to buy. Uh, that's the latest shipment. And we'll let you know if there's any more to come. That's it. <laughs> Have a good day.